Alright farmers, it's Friday the 3rd of March and we're back with some mods. First up we've got the Average Garages, this is by Karamir, 5.76 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and sheds. So we'll scroll along to find it. They are 26 and a half grand to buy and it's a garage. As the name would suggest, it is average. Brickwork, roof on the top, although to be fair, it is nicely detailed. I mean you've got the windows on the side as well. We'll come there, we've got a light, turn the light on. There you are, just like that. Left stick in. Yeah, you're not going to get massive amounts of equipment in there, mind you, but you know, medium. Well, to be fair, you'd probably get most tractors in there. Maybe not harvesters, but yeah, plenty of storage for your pallets and stuff. Very nice. All right, next up is Vineyard Pulse Pack. This is by Agro Piaf Picks, 9.02 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these two in the construction menu and under productions and orchards. So, with 30 per section. Obviously, they look the same when you're placing them down as the standard base game ones, but the difference is the poles. So, we've got this one here, it's got a metal pole, and this one here, it's got a concrete pole. Yeah, adds something slightly different to your vineyard work. Very nice. And next up is Cow Barn Big with Lizard Mix Feeder. This is by Castor DS Agra Service. 16.72 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under animals and cows. So there it is. It's quite pricey. 715 grand to buy. But it does hold 500 cows. Which is excellent. I mean you drop all your stuff in here because it has got the robot. Which is just there. Obviously your silage, your straw, and then your hay goes in that bit. So I'll pop up a little video now of just the robot going through its whole shenanigans. Because it's ace. I mean, it comes out of its little hidey hole in the corner, travels all the way down. And as it gets to the corner down there, it goes all the way down the side by the cows, feeding those lovely cows there, ready to be milked. Obviously dumping the food in as it goes, and then just returns back to its spot that is ace i do like that and then obviously come around the corner here is where you're going to put your mineral feed in and then if you don't want to use the robot come up to this door open that up inside there is when you can dump all your food and your straw in then we'll come down this end we'll open up that door like that then we'll come outside come down here you got your slurry taking out point just there you got your milk taken out point just there. We'll open up that door like that. Obviously, you come in here, here's your animal dialogue box. So we'll click on that. We've got 60 in there at the minute. Obviously, it holds 500, which is ace. You've got some lights there. Could we turn the lights on? No? Doesn't seem to be working. All right, fair enough. Go into this door like that. There you are, bit of a storage area for you. And we'll come into this door like that. And there's your milk tanks. Do you know what? I like this. This is ace. I mean, yeah, it's, we've got robot feeders for cow barns before. That's slightly different. Obviously, you've got the little robot and the, was it, Laylee one that comes out? Yeah, I like this. Very nice. All right, next up is the Power Roll 1230 HD Multi Roller. This is by Mac Trucker 921, 4.36 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under rollers. Now, this has got a little trick up its sleeve 160 horsepower requirement from your tractor, 12.3 meter working width, 15 mile an hour working speed, 41 grand to buy. You can have it as a standard field roller, a grass roller, or a mulching roller. Ooh, that's all right. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tires. Come down to main colour. You go for whichever one you want, but let's, let's, be, let's have it in a stainless steel. Let's be honest. Go for something shiny. Ah, ace. And then rim colour obviously does all those colours, but why not? We're going to go for stainless steel. That is ace. I mean, three options on that. Grass, field, or mulching. That is very nice. Right, next up is the Hydraulic Harrow MF32 Discs. This is by GNFS and Rian Amboni. 6.95 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this under Disc Harrows. So it requires 80 horsepower from your tractor, 3 meter working width, 9 mile an hour working speed. So sort of small farming shenanigans you can be doing with this. 5 grand to buy. Then got the options of Disc Design 1, 2, 3, or back to 1. Disc Cleaner, no or yes. There you are, puts those in between the discs, fair enough. You then you've got weights, so these are ace. So you've got no, design one, which is a couple of wood logs. That's brilliant. 
Two is a couple of old tyres. Well, that, they look like the discs, to be fair, but all right, fair enough, or nothing. And you can change the main colour to any one of those. Oh, I like that, especially with those wood logs on. That one, there you are. That's ace. So next up is the Ultimate Mowing and Bailing Pack. This is by Mac Trucker 921, 59.59 megabyte on the download. And just come down to your mods and DLCs. So much easier to find. So we've got two mowers, front and back. We've got two square balers. We've got two round balers and wrapper combos. We've then got two wind rowers. And then we've got a standalone wrapper on the end. Now, the difference between the two balers in each category is one gives you liftable bales. Oh, excellent. That's ace. All right, so we've got the first mower. Obviously, it's going to be going on the front. So this is the Converland 33, 32 foot, 3.2 meter working width, 82 horsepower equipment from your tractor. I need to take a breath. 18 mile an hour working speed, 21 grand to buy. You then change the design to the extra 732 foot or the 33, 32. Main color. Oh, 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 oh. oh we've got some shiny stuff on the go. Let's go for, yeah, let's go for gold. Why not? Changes that. Skirt colour, yeah, let's, let's match it up. <laughs> oh, that's ace, golden front mower. We then got the back version, the 53100 MT, 240 horsepower requirement for this one, 10.2 metre working width, 80 mile an hour working speed, 55 grand as base version. If you want the Vario itself, or you go for the Vario BX, it's got the swathing abilities on it. Adds an extra 15 grand. Again, design extra 7100T or nothing. Now, the the thing for this, and this is the whole pack that sort of gets involved in all this, is the rear hitch. Now, on this, you can have no low ball hitch, low pin hitch, rear hitch three point, which is what I've gone for. I'm going to go, come back to that in a minute. High ball hitch, high pin hitch or nothing. Main color. Obviously, it's going to be the same as the front mower. So you go for whichever one you want. So we'll come down to that there. And you've got the chassis color as well. Oh, let's, let's just go for it. All gold. <laughs> Look at the state of that. That's brilliant. We'll come out of that. And obviously, these two square balers, they're going to be the same on the options. So you've got 230 horsepower coming from your tractor, 15 mile an hour working speed. It's going to do 180 to 244 centimeter bales. So that means that's going to do the... Was it changeable bale capacities? Oh, that's all right. 159 and a half grand to buy. Usual shenanigans of the wheel brands and the tyres. Again, rear hitch. Now bear this in mind. No, rear hitch ball, rear hitch pin, rear hitch three point or nothing. So obviously, yeah, we're going to need one of those on. Then you've got the main colour. Obviously, you go for whichever one you want. So <laughs> look at that, gold baler. Oh, excellent. Design colour is going to do those bits. And then rim colour is going to do the rims. <laughs> Go stay to that. Obviously, the second version is exactly the same. You just got the liftable ability when the bales come out. We then got the Uniwrap Roland 45, Roland 455 RC Uniwrap Extra Capacity RH. That's a long name. 145 horsepower equipment from your tractor. 10 mile an hour working speed. Going to do 125 to 134 centimetre bales. Take a breath. Dear, oh dear. 78 and a half grand to buy. Again, usual shenanigans to the wheel brands and the tyres. Again, rear hitch. This is what makes this pack brilliant. So you've got rear ball hitch, rear pin hitch, or nothing. Foil colour. Ooh, I mean, if we was going to go for the gold, we'd have to go for that one on the yellow. And then again, the same colour palette as the previous baler and we'll come out of that and we'll go to the kabuta ra2760 rh obviously the liftable version of the uniwraps just there so we're going to this one so it's got an 80 horsepower requirement from your tractor 8.4 meter working width 18 mile an hour working speed 19 and a half grand again that rear hitch that is the all important thing on this and it's age because you can have a three point on the back of this as well Change the colour, same colour palette as before. Then you've got a smaller version, the Kubota TE6060RH. Obviously, it's got 4.4 metre working width, 30 horsepower requirement from your tractor. Again, rear hitch as before. You are going to want to sort one of those out. Same colours as before. And then on the end, we've got the Kuhn SW4014RH. 
So it's going to do a 125 to 184 centimeter round bales, 180 to 244 centimeter square bales, 54 grand. Again, the rear hitch. Now this is going to become important very shortly. Foil color, you go for whichever one you want. Although we can have a metallic one on that. Oh, excellent. Now, we've got it set up here. Obviously, all this equipment is going to need a very high-powered tractor. So we've got one with 800 horsepower. Why not? So let's start unfolding stuff. Well, we'll start right back at the beginning. Right, there you are. So we'll unfold the front mower. And we'll lower that down like that. Then we'll go unfold the rear mower. Obviously, we've unfolded the windrower already. So once that gets involved, we'll put the help menu on because that'll be a lot of help. So the rear mower is unfolded. So we'll turn that on. And we also want to change the swathing ability. There you are, swath dropping. So we'll turn that on, turn that on, there you are. Lower that down. We'll move back again. We'll turn the wind rower on and lower that down. And we'll go back again and we'll turn the baler on and lower that down. And that's it. Obviously we've gone for the round bale version. And then we've got the trailer on the back that's going to have the auto load on it. So away we go. Oh, look at that. That is ace. That's something of beauty, that is. So we're mowing, wind rowing, baling, and we're going to be auto loading all in one go. Although, to be fair, yeah, you need to be a bit careful of the baler itself because that's a little slower. And we have got, oh, we haven't got that on auto drop, actually. Let's put that on. There you are, and we'll do auto drop as we carry on forward. Have we got the trailer in the right option? Turn that on, and the bear's not supported. I've gone for the ba I've gone for the bale trailer that doesn't accept round bales. Shocking. Well, that's how it works anyway. That's the whole idea behind this. So yeah, you know, you've got to be a bit careful on the bale wrapper there, because obviously the round ones. Do need to have a little bit of time to pop it out and then wrap it up. So the square baler probably would be a little bit better. But that being said, that is awesome. All right, next up is the Man TGX 26640 Straw Bale. This is by Calaruga Modding Design. 12.15 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this under trucks. So it's got a 640 horsepower engine, 49 mile an hour top speed. It's going to do 21 bales. That's all right. It's going to accept 180 to 240 centimeter bales, 145 grand. Although we have got a grand optional extra as we come straight from the shop. But all right, fair enough. The options we've got there are front mounting. No. Yes. Or no, just changes the grills around the lights. Auto load, yes or no? Obviously, yes. We're going to go for the auto load. Chassis color, yellow, white, or yellow. Horn, no or yes, put those on the side. Man top use sticker, no or yes, puts that on the sun visor. Side lights, no or yes, puts those on there just below the door handle. You then got blind spot stickers, no or yes. Fair enough, that taste. Mirrors, design one, two, three, or none. You then got main color, which is going to do your main cab. Color again, it's going to do the back. And then rim color, obviously going to do the rims. Oh, that looks all right, actually. Red cab, black everything else. And it'll do straw bales. Oh, that ace. And the last mod for the day is the Massey Ferguson 3600 Series two-wheel drive version. This is by Vinco Mods, 14.45 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under small tractors. 130 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed, 48 grand. You can then change the engine output to 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. All back to 130. 190, that's all right. That's all right, indeed. Usual shenanigans of the wheel tires and brands. And then we come down to windows. You've got standard, initial film one, two, three, four, or standard. I mean, that four just looks like the windows have been painted. But all right, fair enough. Exhaust, standard, one, two, three, or back to standard. Wait, no, 400 kilo or nothing. Front loader attacher, quickie, hower, or nothing. And you've got the main colour. Ooh. Oh, 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 look at that. Metallic red. That's a bit dark, to be fair. We'll go with that one. Oh, that's better. Oh, look at that. Metallic red. 
brilliant. And rim colour. Oh, 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 look at the state of that. That is ace. I do like something shiny. Oh, that's a nice tractor, that is. We've also got a new map. So this is Rogue River Valley. This is by Poor Boy and Catalyzer Industries. 282.27 megabyte on the download. And it says, do you want to have a small farm or a logging empire? The map offers both. Oh, excellent. We've got a couple of updates as well. So we've got the PGR Slew No map by Wowek12. And there's no mention of a new save. So that one's all right. Also got the Hickory Valley map by Poor Boy. Now it does say you need a new save on that. Although there's a fairly decent amount of updates, so it might be worth your while. Our last update is the Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack by Chris S and Riley S. Now this is a definitely an update that you want because it's changed one of the headers to work at 43 mile an hour. Oh, that's excellent. So that's your mods done for you. Drop in the comments below which one's your favourite. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one.